Now, before I actually show you how to create your own combined oral contraceptive pill template, I'm going to show you the full template in all its glory so that if you want to create your own template and use this template as your basis, then you will have it here in this single video. But to actually see how to create it, I will use another video for that. Let's go into our consultations. And remember, I showed you how to create a consultation and how to add a consultation. And to run the template, you just click on here. Now, this template is called COCP. I'm searching for it. And it's also called, it's actually called New Prescription. Click on that and click OK. So your patient is coming in for the first time and they want a new prescription of the combined oral contraceptive pill. This is the template. It's come up here. On the left-hand side, you have Save Template. When you have completed it, Cancel Template. I'm going to hide the quaff box and I'm going to go through the template one by one so that you know exactly what you're going to be creating yourself. It starts off with three pages. I will show you how to create pages. Eligibility, counseling, and additional resources. The eligibility, it starts with the age criteria. Patient is younger than 35 years old. Click. Yes, the patient is younger. Uh, Tilly Tester isn't. <laughs> Let's just pretend for the purposes of this exercise that she is. Uh, there's a little prompt here. If the patient is over 35 and a smoker, then the COCP is contraindicated. Then you're assessing the patient's medical eligibility. The medical contraindications for COPD, you can see if I click here, it drops down with a few options. I will show you how to create that. In her case, there are no medical contraindications. It gives us a little prompt that is contraindicated in the first three weeks after birth or for the first six weeks of breastfeeding. Is there a family history of VTE, cardiovascular disease, breast cancer? No. Migraine history, no history of migraines. The cool thing about this is this is actually selecting a code and I will show you how to do that. So if the patient had migraine as a code, it would come up here, it would prompt you. Uh, but otherwise, you've asked the patient, there's no history of migraines. The smoking history also pulls in because it's, it's coded effectively. And this patient has never smoked and this hasn't changed. If the patient is there with you, you would check their height, you would check their weight, and you would calculate their body mass index. Uh, luckily, EMIS has already pulled in all that information so that I don't have to do that. Similarly, with the blood pressure, at this point, you would probably check the patient's blood pressure, make sure it's okay. There are little prompts here. If systolic is more than 140, diastolic is more than 90. UK MEC3, benefits generally outweigh the risks. The combined oral contraceptive pill is completely contraindicated if the systolic is more than 160 or diastolic is more than 95. Scrolling down, there's this little bit about a diary and the last menstrual period. Uh, I personally would not add this. Uh, we don't really track patients' periods <laughs> within EMIS, unsurprisingly. And there's a little bit about drug interactions here. Uh, if you click on this, it will bring up uh, the FSHR guidance, which is absolutely brilliant. And you can kind of load it up and have a quick read. And let's go back to EMIS. So this is page one. When you are counseling the patients, you have explained the risk of taking the combined oral contraceptive pill. Uh, you're happy with it, but there is an increased risk of breast cancer, VTE. It will not protect you from STIs. You've explained that you would have to be uh, reviewed in case you have a new diagnosis. That is really important, especially with migraines. Uh, routine annual review is recommended. So these are things that you are telling patients. They're prompting you to tell patients this. And then when you tick it, it'll actually go into the consultation. So there will be a record that you have talked about this. Uh, you have counseled on the side effects seen with the combined oral contraceptive pill, like unscheduled bleeding. You've explained to the patient that she should tell healthcare professionals if she needs an operation, long-term period of immobilization. Obviously, that's important in terms of kind of risk of VTE. And key symptoms that should prompt women to seek medical attention. You can kind of fill that in. Um, so new uh, vaginal discharge, uh, intermenstrual bleeding, you can kind of add in some bits that you want. There's a prompt here that will let patients know, apart from the ones that you've added here at the top, that if they get calf pain, swelling or redness, chest pain, short of breath, coughing up blood, uh, loss of motor or sensory function, a new breast lump, lip nipple inversion, unilateral nipple discharge, you can at the same time counsel about the breast examination, you can send them some links, a migraine with aura, you need to let someone know. Uh, you've counseled about the Miss Pill rule. Um, you can often send a text message with this website. There's going to be a vomiting rule there as well. 
and advice given on starting the combined pill. Uh, luckily, there is some information here. Uh, starting on the first day of period, patient will be protected from pregnancy straight away, no need for contraception. And starting after the fifth day of cycle, additional contraception for seven days. Finally, in the last page, you have uh, the UK MEC table. If you click on that, that will kind of bring up the UK MEC table. Just bear in mind, it says here 2008. So uh, you might want to be careful about that. Brilliant. We're going to go back into EMIS. And we've gone through all of those things with the patient. Let's save the consultation and save the template. Sorry, is what I meant. And look at this. It has imported all of those things that we spoke about without the need to actually type them up. And you can effectively save that. And now you also have a record that you have gone through those things with the patient. This is how powerful templates are. Uh, this is a template that was actually created by Elisa, our fifth year medical student. Um, she said that she learned how to do templates from the videos I had on YouTube, and she created this amazing, amazing template and has kindly let me show you the template. So I'm going to show you briefly how to start making a template like this in the next video.